so my last question akhil uh, so now you you've seen uh, i mean uh, now you you've recently uh, hired uh, chief investment officer at motilal oswal mr pratik agarwal he brings a legacy in terms of performance is work with large organization previously uh, so what are the changes that you you see uh, is likely to happen a b is if i am if i am the new investor i am looking at motila loswal which fund should i look at at this point of yeah. time both of the pms side as well as the yeah. am side yeah so because we are a investment firm right our essential uh, uh, crux of the business is investments and therefore as we are uh, growing and as uh, our size is growing uh, we have to ensure that we are adequately investing in our investment team uh, and getting the best resources to manage public money uh, Uh, we have been doing continuously uh, in the last several years uh, you will be happy to note that uh, the size of ours which is about uh, 6 billion dollars of assets uh, we have perhaps the biggest investment team of 30 people with 10 fund managers and uh, analyst right so we will continuously invest in our uh, investment team uh, get the best talent to give the best results to our investors in the same endeavor uh we have uh, possibly got the best talent to lead the investment team which is uh, uh, pratik agarwal uh, he is not the cio per se but he is the executive director uh, leading okay. investments okay and uh, he comes with a 30 years of track record uh, managing funds uh, being a chief investment officer his last stint uh, at ask was uh, 12 years and uh, we all know uh, uh, the kind of Uh, outcomes uh, at ASK under the leadership of uh, Pratik. We are very very happy uh, at uh, Motilal Oswal to have him lead the investments uh, from the front. Uh, it's been three months that he is here, and what I see, uh, what is changing, is uh, that the selection strategy through QGLP frameworks is working absolutely fine. But uh, incrementally, we are adding a lot of new frame frameworks on the risk control side. Right, so. Uh, uh we always said that buy right sit tight or buy and hold strategy we do feel that in public money management that perhaps may not be the absolute right way of uh, uh you know managing the funds uh, because investors are assessing your performance uh, on a quarterly half yearly one yearly right. basis so we need to have little bit of uh, more agility in our portfolios we need to have much more stringent risk frameworks to ensure that Uh, the companies we buy and uh, they end up making a lot of wealth we take our profits off at uh, regular intervals so profit booking at regular intervals so you control the risk of staying into companies with higher valuations for a lesser period of time right. so protect the profits mm. which have uh, come into the fund sure the second part is uh, how do you contain losses so uh, from time to time there would be certain businesses which will go through some headwinds they may go through some sharp corrections they may underperform uh, the market so uh, we have put a framework where uh, on a quarterly basis rolling quarterly basis uh, stocks which are underperforming uh, beyond a tolerance level uh, would be uh, eliminated from the portfolio or at least the weights will uh, come down uh, we are also trying to diversify the portfolio optimally while keeping the portfolio concentrated to 30 stocks uh, which we are not diluting but allocating in a way that you are not over exposed to the the top 30 top 40% of the portfolio so bring the weights down in the top end of the portfolio increase the weight from the bottom so that there is adequate diversification in the portfolio which is nothing but diversifying the risk so these are some components apart from many components uh, which have been put in place to ensure not staying on with companies which are excessively priced Uh, not staying into companies which are getting corrected very very sharply or underperforming very sharply and having a much more even spread of allocation across the stocks to diversify the risk so these are the three things we have put in place so managing the weights <coughs> even more efficient weights yeah typically what was happening and uh, in our portfolios is that the top uh, top 10 stocks typically would be 55 to 60% mm. right now that brings in too much of concentration. concentration in the top 10 stocks and you can imagine you know a stock which is 10% corrects by 10% can right. create a 1% uh, uh, yeah. drawdown mm. so uh, so we'll try to reduce this uh, this top heavy allocation right and 
if we are equally convinced about all the businesses in the portfolio then we should have meaningful weights in the tail end of the portfolio also so we are putting weights also so minimum two and a half percent except for ipo stocks two and a half percent on the lower side uh, you know uh, we are saying that let's say if a fund manager is buying a stock which is part of the index uh, do not go overweight beyond two and a half percent as compared to the benchmark weight if a stock is not part of the benchmark then your higher side is five percent so a lot of things mathematically have been put in place right. to control the risk to control the volatility right and to bring more smoothness evenness into the returns mm. uh, going sure. forward so these are just some of the few things sure, sure. Uh, which has already been put been put in place okay. so now the last question as i said that so if i, I if i have to allocate say 5 crores uh, at motilal oswal how do i construct my portfolio yeah, so that one so I would, of yeah. course, look at. I would do my own analysis in terms of analyzing, doing yeah. risk appetite, etc. Yeah. But suppose the money is meant for you now. Yes. So uh, I would say that uh, across the three platforms, uh, you sh one should look at uh, on the mutual fund side. Uh, we have a, a very great emerging product called uh, Motilal Oswal Large and Mid Cap Fund. Uh, just about three years old fund very consistently in uh, quartile one quartile two in between that rankings very very stable smooth returns uh, manager is trying to participate both uh, between large cap and mid and small uh, 50 percent 50 percent so you get exposure to uh, both sides of the market uh, within that we are trying to make this portfolio more what we call is as a leader full portfolio so all businesses are leadership companies either in top three top five top ten so leadership portfolio uh, some differentiated uh, counter cyclical bets uh, we have taken in this portfolio for example we have cements which are over allocation we feel the cement cycle will come back so there are pockets of value there in the portfolio and there are pockets which have already delivered a good amount of uh, value unlocking so this is one fund I will certainly recommend from underlying portfolio plus valuations both uh, it's not an expensive portfolio it's not very very cheap portfolio so it's actually high quality high growth at right price sure. so that's first product uh, Motila Loswal mid cap fund is a is absolutely a, a top line product uh, one year two year three year five year seven year it's a eight year product uh, investors who have stayed in this fund since inception has made uh, five times so 10 rupee nav is today 52 rupees so it's a five bagger in eight years I think uh, clearly very very good returns so uh, if you are looking at slightly high risk fund then mid cap fund mm -hmm. if you're looking at a moderate risk then it is a large and mid cap so that's on the mutual fund side in PMS I will continue to give my conviction on my flagship strategy which is uh, NTDOP uh, next trillion dollar opportunity 14 years of track record it has lived through three or four uh, cycles bad cycles uh, global financial crisis taper tantrum COVID and now the war four cycles uh, this fund has gone through despite that it has given since inception 18 percent return uh, last five years uh, there is a uh, uh, there is underperformance the uh, underperformance is coming as I explained to you is by not owning these PSUs right, or the right. metals or these kind of stocks because that's not the theme of the portfolio right, right. Uh, we are we are having a, a lot of pockets of uh, good long-term uh, wealth creation opportunities we have 20 percent plus exposure to the top banks uh, like Kotak uh, State Bank of India uh, ICSA Bank uh, we have the best IT companies which have now gone down corrected by 30 percent TCS LTTS LTIS Tech Mahindra uh, we have great consumer discretionary names like page industries which is anyways a multi-bagger in this portfolio incrementally we've added Vedant fashion uh, which is a maneuver brand into this portfolio so new names are coming in uh, at absolute beaten down, down price we are also participating in uh, tech companies like Zomato so we have bought that stock at at, at this valuation at, at very very rock bottom mm -hmm. uh, prices it's actually started to contribute uh, positively to the sure. portfolio uh, we are playing insurance because we feel insurance is a very good long-term theme we have two companies now max financial and we have uh, uh, Relegar Enterprises which is essentially the care general insurance product and then 20% of the portfolio is uh, on the uh, economy facing stock so we have lnt uh, we have uh, concord uh, names like these sure. cement etc right so 80 percent of the portfolio is more around insurance financials auto and it and 20 percent is more e economic uh, recovery stocks uh, since the performance has 
been muted because as I explained to you, these parts have not have underperformed yeah, broadly. Yeah. But this is where the value is emerging. Growth is in place. We are seeing quarter on quarter numbers are coming out pretty satisfactory. P multiples are not elevated. Therefore, these are the times you buy portfolios like NTDOP with a 14 year of track record. Uh, so that's first scheme. Similar to this, we have a thematic multi-cap uh, fund, which is called uh, Business Opportunity Portfolio. It's again a four-year young fund. Here, what we are trying to play is that from a five-year perspective, uh, from time to time, different themes come up as uh, tailwinded themes. We started off this portfolio uh, about four years back. Uh, if you remember, at that point of time, the focus of government was on uh, agriculture, uh, GST, affordable housing. So we started off with those themes. Uh, Till today, where the themes have been rotated into higher focus on consumer, higher focus on financials, higher focus on technology. So these three are 80% and then 20% is on the economic recovery stock. So it's a thematic multi-cap fund. What you should expect in this fund is from time to time, the themes will keep changing, underlying sector rotation will happen and it will give you that kind of a different flavor within the multi-cap bucket. So does it have the higher churning ratio than NTDOP? It will be slightly higher churn uh, than NTDOP and incrementally now as mid-caps and small caps are offering tremendous value, the manager is actually buying more and more stocks in mid and small where the value is looking much more attractive compared to the large cap. So that's on the PMS front. So on AIF side, uh, we spoke about one fund, Vision 2030. Uh, we've already raised 400 crores. Uh, we will close this fund very, very soon. So all or any investor wanting to have this kind of a blended listed unlisted fund uh, reach out, to, good Vikas, opportunity reach out to Vikas yeah. as soon as possible. Uh, we are in process of launching a very very innovative uh, strategy which is uh, going to be led by Pratik uh, which is uh, going to be the uh, uh, founders AIF essentially trying to buy into Indian entrepreneurs. Because Indian entrepreneurs, if you go back, uh, have created enormous wealth. Right. Uh, so we put the frameworks. Uh, I'm sure uh, you can share it with the uh, with your investors. But uh, look out for the Founders Fund AIF. It's going to be an absolute <coughs> new, new fund launch. Sure. Uh, so Vision 2030, uh, Founders Fund. Uh, these are the two pure long only products. Uh, third fund, which is slightly different, I would uh, position is uh, more uh, more of a rule based uh, open ended aif called uh, hedge multi factor quant where based. quant based so where we have laid laid down three factors quality value and momentum so the rules will decide the long only portfolio and we will overlay this with uh, hedging to ensure the the risk protection in case of any sharp market correction and uh, i think this can be a very very differentiator uh, as compared to uh, your regular uh, long only funds managed by active so these are some of the ideations you can do your due diligence and uh, sure. basis investor risk profile you can choose any any of the fund right uh, amongst right. all of these things i've spoken great so with that we'd like to conclude the session akil it was absolute pleasure talking to you